Hi guys, I've connected my fridge with ChatGPT, Siri, Raspberry Pi and the camera. Check this out. Hey Siri, hmm? check my fridge. One sec. You have six eggs left. Thanks. In this video, you will learn how to turn your boring fridge, oven, uh, drawers or any other kitchen object into smart device using computer vision and artificial intelligence. Stay tuned. I will split this video in three parts. First, I'm gonna explain uh, what my system is capable of. Second, how it works in simplified terms. And third, for big eggheads nerds like me, we are gonna deep dive into technical details and the code. Okay, right now the camera is pointing on one shelf where I store my eggs. So every time I ask Siri to check my fridge, check my supplies, she's gonna tell me exactly how many eggs I have left. So there is camera connected to the board power bank and of course external source of light because when fridge doors are closing the lights turns off. It's just a PLC so it's quite big but I can easily shrink the size by order of magnitude by replacing power bank with internal power supply and raspberry with smaller microcontroller. Let's say I am in the supermarket and I forgot do I have any left? No problem I can just ask Siri literally from any place in the world. Super useful. You can easily extend this system by connecting multiple cameras for each shelf. First, you need some kind of hub to stream images from the camera to your local network. I used Raspberry 4B, flashed it with the newest system, then connected it with camera over CSI socket and connected with external power supply, uh, just big power bank. Next, I set up a local HTTP server on my Raspberry. In simple terms, it's just a program connected to my Wi-Fi and it's always listening for particular instructions. When triggered, it captures the current state of my shelf using a building camera toolkit. In other words, just takes a photo, attaches the necessary description and sends it to GPT-40 mini, which supports image input. The language model analyzes the photo and returns the recognized number of X. And the last part, how to connect it with Siri. The Apple shortcut app supports HTTP requests and parsing, so I mapped a voice command to trigger the server on my Raspberry Pi, as mentioned earlier. At this point, it's just a funny concept, but in terms of energy, in a typical household, fridge is one of the most power-consuming device. Opening it dozens times per day wastes billions of watts worldwide. So putting an optimized camera system inside, even without AI, for sure is an interesting way to make noticeable energy savings. And now my favorite part, technical details. First, Let's go through server script, it's pretty easy. I initialized FastAPI application and OpenAI client. Here I have utility function to encode the image to base64 format. That's because GPT is expecting base64 format. Next, I have API request, which consists of image and description, how many X do you see in this image, return exactly number of X, just number, nothing more. Max tokens, actually it's not necessary, I can remove that. And the whole server is just one get method uh, slash x. Sub process is responsible for running command line function inside Python script, getting the predicted number and return simple JSON-like format. It's developed environment, so I am using Uvicorn to run this application and that's basically it. Second script is written in Apple shortcut application, which supports block-based programming. You need basic network knowledge to find address of your server, but you can find it easily by running ifconfig command on Raspberry Pi directly or via SSH. At the beginning, I get text from this endpoint. Don't worry that it's HTTP, not HTTPS, because it runs only in local network, so it's not visible from the outside. After that, I parse egg count key and pass its value to speak. In my case, to my HomePod. If you are still here, let me know your thoughts about this project in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and hopefully see you soon.